All right, David Harry here. <laughs> now, I've been waiting like a child at Christmas, I have, for Santa Claus to turn up with my new present. But it wasn't some fat dude in a red suit with a big white beard standing at the door when I opened it. No, it was some scruffy dude in shorts with a box from Apple. And here it is. This is my brand new Mac Mini M1. So I'm just going to do what a billion other people are going to do today, and that is an unboxing. So I'm going to start off with the back of the box just quickly here. Now, you pause the video and you read through this in your own time and then carry on with the video. But I'm just going to whiz through now and get all the wrapping off okay so i've lost me special knife that i use for unboxings i spent like two grand on a knife would you believe it and i've lost it instead i'm just going to use this little weird little screwdriver here just to try and score the side off like that give us a sec hold on i just don't want to show those details on the back as i whiz all this off so there's all the little cellophane bit off it there and then there's the front of the box. Now, yeah, there's stuff around the sides and what have you. It just says Mac Mini on it. I don't think any of that's going to come as a big surprise to anyone. So what I'm going to do is just dive into this. Let me get this open. Hold on. Let's get this off the table. Ooh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Ooh, I like that. Okay, so let me just get this out. See if I can do it without snapping anything or breaking anything. Oh, God, that's got some weight in it. Friggin' hell. Oh, God, you could do some damage with that in a fight. Right, here we go. So what we've got here, we've got some uh, like manually stuff and them, them Apple stickers just to piss off people on PC and Windows. How cool is that? Right, hold on. Let me just put that in there. And there, are, there is some like bits of literature in there, but that goes in the office space on the floor over there for that stuff. Also... This comes with a little two-pin adapter here, or two-pin power cable. Now, obviously, depending upon where you are in the world, you're going to get, like, you know, a cable similar to this, but just with the pin structure and whatnot on the other end there. This is a three-pin one. You'll get one that matches your main system. Now, let's see. No, there's nothing else in this. Let me just get all that out the way. Okay. Wow. Honestly, this thing weighs like dead heavy and stuff. Honest to God, it's great. Now, what do I do here? Let's, let me just make sure there's no pertinent details on the back. So, let me just whiz this off. None of that stupid ASMR bollocks that people do, yeah? Anyway, so there we go. Nice little Apple logo on the front and all the rest of it. I must say, I've never had one of these before. Last Mac I had was about 20 years ago, so I've never had one of these particular minis, but I've got to say, there is some heft to this. It really does feel like you've bought something nice, I tell you that. Okay, what's this here? Okay, so what I'm going to do here... I'm just going to whip, in fact, no, I'll wait, I'll wait there before I take that off the back. Right, so on the bottom there, there's the base of it. What's that, like, plastic? Now... Is that easy to get off? I don't know how easy that is to get off, but I'm going to try and get that off and have a good look inside. If anyone's, like, you know, seen any of my videos in the past, say, to do with the likes of GoPros and stuff like that, I think you know what I'm going to be doing with this thing. I'm going to be opening it up and seeing what's inside it and stuff. So that's the bottom anyway, but that's not really that exciting, is it? So what we'll do, let's have a little look around. Oh, yeah, there's a light there, so there's an LED indicator on the front. Is this getting into focus? I really need to get another ZV one for these things right so there's the light indicator for power and such and what have you so let me just whiz round to the back here okay so let me just get this off oh go ahead that looks really nice doesn't it okay so i'm gonna do here let me just have a little look at the side so there's the power button there all nice and flush Oh, it's got a nice action on the power button. I mean, you know, if you're going to get excited about a power button, that's the one to get excited about. <laughs> anyway, so from left to right, here we have the two-pin power input, because don't forget, the actual power supply or the PSU is built into the body of this, so we just supply a mains cable to it. Now, what we have here, this is a gigabit LAN or gigabit Ethernet port. I believe these used to have 10 gig on and stuff like that. So I'd imagine, you know, if you've used one of these in the past, you know, or the previous one, you, you, you were using 10 gig. Yeah, I don't know. This might upset you. If you've never used one before, then yeah, gigabits, you know, easily good enough. Okay, so we've got a fan here. So obviously when, the, when it heats up, it's going to kick a fan in and throw them, you know, expel the hot air out the back there. Also, what we've then got here, we've got 
two Thunderbolt 3 ports, which are also USB 4. So basically, they're 40 gigabit ports there. Now, what's going to be interesting and something that I'm going to have to find out is are these on separate buses or are they basically split off the same USB bus system or basically the same PCIe or the equivalent of whatever the Mac uses? So nonetheless, I need to find out are they definitely 40 each. Anyways, next to that, we have a HDMI port. I'll get onto a little bit about that in a second. And then and just over here, what we have are two USB-A ports. And these are actually configured as USB 3.1 Gen 2, which is basically going to give you up to 10 gigabits per second. Once again, I don't know if they're separate or if they're off the same bus system. Again, something else I'll have to find out in the future. And here is a 3.5 mil headphone output. Now, I believe that is just headphone output, but I will test that just to see if it is TRRS and if it accepts a microphone input. Now, quickly, just going back to the HDMI and the Thunderbolt ports, what it is, you can can get up to 6k 60 frames per second out of one of the thunderbolts here if you attach that to an appropriate monitor and use the correct cable and at the same time you can also have up to 4k 60 coming out of the hdmi this is hdmi version 2 on this port here so between the pair of them you could get two 4k 60 monitors coming off the back of these or one 6k 60 and one 4k 60 anyways i think that's probably about it there for my own box and I just wanted to show people what I'd got on here. So what I'll do, I'll flip the camera back around to the front and I'll get out of this video as soon as I can. Okay, so there's my unboxing then of the Mac Mini with the M1 processor in. And immediately, I've turned into one of those poncy Mac YouTubers. Check the background out. I now have a Mac emblem in the background. I'm going to fill that up with tons of different Mac devices. No, I won't. Anyway, what I'm going to do is shoot off because I've got to put a lot of stuff on this right now. I'm going to be testing all kinds of things on it. But immediately, and if you're into gameplay and stuff like that, or more specifically, whether the iOS games are going to play well on this, call back in a little bit because I'm definitely going to be putting this through its paces initially. I want to see if I can get Call of Duty and Fortnite going on it and stuff like that because I believe you can still put Fortnite on it if you would already had Fortnite in iOS on a previous device and stuff before the whole like weirdness between Apple and whatnot and Fortnite went on. Anyways, before the shoot off, I think this little Mac Mini wants to say something to my PC in the corner. Hello, Mr. i9 PC multimedia machine that Dave uses for all of his video editing and music production and basically all of his heavy end tasks all you're going to be fit for from here on in is to record my hdmi output you fucking loser anyways i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now